Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have some amazing news. We finally have a much anticipated update rolling out to many Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the S20 devices. And that could be any model, Note 20 Ultra, S20 Ultra, whatever you have. So if I go to my settings right over here, on the top, you'll see a new software update is in fact available. And I can update that right now from here. On this phone, I already did the update. And if I go all the way down, tap on the software update and the last update, that's already done. Now here's the thing. If you already have One UI 3.0 beta running on these phones, as I do, you are gonna see this update and it's gonna be a relatively small update. But this is in fact the official One UI 3.0 update. If you did not have One UI 3.0 beta, but if you already had One UI 2.5 or earlier, then you're gonna get a much larger update that is gonna be the official One UI 3.0 update, which is gonna look just like this one right over here. A lot of people have been messaging me and this is what they're getting. So the One UI 3.0 is officially here for many of these phones. So let's do the update real quick. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things and get you all squared up. So I can tap on the update right there, tap on download, that's gonna start. I will let you know real quick, if you guys want to get these wallpapers here that are in the background that I'm sure somebody's gonna ask me, I'm gonna drop a link down below. When you click the link, it's gonna take you to my website and then all you wanna do is you're gonna scroll down and all the wallpapers are listed, they're numbered. You can simply click the link to download the specific wallpaper that you're looking for. We have some amazing wallpapers. Now let me install, I just tapped the wrong button. Let me install this right now. I'll be right back with you, show you guys all the new stuff. All right, so the phone has in fact been updated. We It says right here, your phone has been updated. So basically when I had the beta version, when I went to my members application right over here, okay? When I went to members application, it took me straight to a screen that said I was a member of One UI 3.0 beta program. After I did the update, when I launched the members, I just get dumped straight into the actual members screen. Now, a lot of people are also gonna be wondering with One UI 3.0 update, what's gonna happen to GoodLock? So if you have this update, you can go to Samsung members application, tap on the notices. I'm gonna be making a detailed video about this later, uh, but on the top, you're gonna see a notice about the GoodLock 2020. So it actually shows you exactly what the plan is for One UI 3.0 for GoodLock 2020. And you can read this through and see all the details because I know a lot of you guys are in fact using One UI 3.0 and don't worry, you're not gonna lose access. In the beginning, a couple of modules are going to be uh, disconnected. So if you go to GoodLock, you might see it says unplug under some applications. All these guys are gonna be updated and fully compatible with One UI 3.0 very soon. So that's one question that I've been getting. But beyond that, man, the One UI 3.0 interface is super smooth, okay? Super smooth. Uh, after all those betas, after all those betas, it works like a champion. Uh, even the animations are slightly different now. Some people like them, some people don't like them. They're, little, they're just a little bit more slick in my opinion. With every iteration, every upgrade, they make things a little bit better. So there is a whole bunch of new features with One UI 3.0, obviously. Overall look and feel is a different. Uh, the notifications panel is gonna look different. Now if you do go to your settings, if you go all the way down, if you go into developer options, uh, there's a unique option here uh, for One UI 3.0 that if I scroll down a little bit, okay, it allows me to show the refresh rate of the screen on the top. So this is at 120 hertz right now. If I were to go to settings, uh, go into display, and if I go from motion smoothness to standard, it's gonna switch over to 60 hertz, which is what it's supposed to be. But now you can actually see that on the screen, which is cool, and that's under developer options. If you go to your phone dialer and if you tap on the settings over here, you are able to change the background of the call. So if I tap on call background, you can now pick a brand new background when somebody's calling you. You can tap on background and you can have videos or static wallpapers. You simply click plus over here. It'll take you to, the, to whatever you want to do. So if I were to pick this one right here, I can have 15 minutes of that as a 
call background. So that's actually uh, one of my favorite features. Another great feature, again, if I have my music player, let me just launch the music player. Let me kill the volume here for a second. Tap over here, boom, boom. We're gonna play a music. If I pull this down, I got this thing on the top. I love this thing on the top. I can tap to expand it, tap that button to go into details and do more things. Absolutely fantastic new features. Another great feature is if you press and hold on these uh, icons, when they expand, the menu looks different. It's more futuristic, more clean, more with rounded corners. And also, if I were to go and find an application that has a widget, uh, it also shows me that widget. So let me just go to my weather application. It's got to be somewhere here, right there. So that's the weather application. Press and hold, and I can access the widgets right from here. Look at that. So I can add them right to the home, home screen. All I have to do is press and hold the application that supports the widgets, tap on widgets, boom, fantastic. There are some modifications uh, to the overall look and feel. Now, if you go to advanced features, okay, there's gonna be a lot of things here different. You have the link to Windows here. You got Samsung Dex here. That's all by itself. It has its own little screen. If you tap it, you're gonna see this. If you enable it, you're gonna see the uh, standard interface. So advanced features are gonna look a little bit different. And then you also have this. This is my most favorite thing here. Finally, we have a dedicated Android Auto menu under advanced features. When I click on this one, you get this brand new Android Auto menu. You can customize your launcher from here. So if I tap on this one, you can enable or disable applications right from here that end up being projected to your Android Auto. If I go down, I also have this option. If you have a brand new car, a 2021 car that supports wireless Android Auto, make sure you enable this. You don't even need cables anymore, okay? So that's fantastic that we have that in there. Couple more modifications here, but not a big deal. Big modifications over here, battery and device care. You can now that tap this button, get a lot of information under this care report, okay? And if you go to battery, things have changed a little bit. Things look a little bit different. I have some detailed videos on these, so you can go search for those as well. But all in all, I think it's a good change. There's a couple things that are missing. Now, people have told me when they go to display, when they go into the full screen applications, they don't have access to the button on the top here that allows you to actually hide this cutout. So that, that was a built-in option you could access from here. On the top corner, there was a dot. You can tap on it and, and hide the whole cutout. Can't do that on One UI 3.0 as of now, okay? But that's one more change I noticed. And of course, if you're looking for more detailed uh, feature list, I'm gonna drop links to my other videos that cover One UI 3.0 so you can watch the full playlist down below to discover everything. But this is great. This is an unlocked S20 Ultra, unlocked Note 20 Ultra. They're now getting One UI 3.0 officially, thankfully. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.